there still a sabbatical? So there is still a Sabbath rest for the people of God. The term rest comes from epolipo, which means to remain, to have something yet. Thus, Hebrews says that there was still a Sabbath rest for God's people. Now, in view of this, let us diligently seek to enter into that rest, lest anyone fall into the same example of disobedience. So he who enters this rest diligently, so as not to fall into disobedience. So man must seek this remaining sabbatical, which is the one mentioned. For in a certain place he said thus from the seventh day, and God rested on the seventh day from all his works, now this Sabbath is said in Genesis 2, 2 now, when God had completed the work he had done on the seventh day, he rested on that day from all the work he had done. Genesis 2, 3 God blessed the seventh day, and sanctified him, because in him he rested from all his work that he had created and done. And so, give us an advice. For he who entered into the rest of God, he also rested from his works, as well as God from his. Therefore, every seventh day we must rest from our works, as God rested from his, and he did not die, but he is alive for eternity. So let us rest from our works as God did, and live without disobedience. For he who does not enter into his rest is in danger of falling into disobedience. But why is it written, so there is still a Sabbath rest for the people of God? The word restar is exemplified as a box of balls in which the balls are removed, until one remains. Then there is a ball or a sabbatical. But where is this remaining sabbatical? And he bruised quote. For in a certain place he said thus from the seventh day, and God rested on the seventh day from all his works, this is the rest that remains for God's people. The rest related to creation. God's example of sanctifying and blessing the seventh day. He was the only sabbatical but with the Hebrews came several sabbatical homes from the ordinances, and after the ordinances, the rest that had not come from the ordinances remained. The Sabbath rest quoted in Hebrews 4, For God blessed the seventh day, and sanctified him, for in him he rested from all his work which he had created and done. This is the sabbatical rest that is left for God's people. And the people of God rest, in the remaining sabbatical rest. So it is written. For we who have believed have come to rest, then those who believe come into the remaining sabbatical. By faith and the good news, Uagaliza for of all the ceremonial Saturdays there is a Saturday that goes beyond this ceremonial, as it says the verse. So there is still a Sabbath rest for the people of God. If you are looking for more content from different areas, visit the reformadorstasad.com website, news and detailed content can be found. With system of research and organization of text and video.